preservation rhinoplasty is a term that you may not be familiar with. It's been around for a long time. However, in recent years, we've seen an increase in popularity for good reason. In the past, when we would take down a dorsal hump, we would remove the leading edge of the bridge, which would then require reconstruction. Now, along with that comes some potential issues down the line, irregularities, asymmetries, visible bone edges. With dorsal preservation, the leading edge of the bridge, this portion of the nose, is preserved. Bone cuts are made closer to where the bones meet the face, and subdorsal work is done on the septum, and the hump is essentially pulled down from below. What this does is it preserves the favorable contours of the nose that you have on frontal view. So patients come in sometimes and they say, doctor, I'd like to keep my front view, but I just want to remove the hump. This is the ideal technique for that situation. In the paper, the authors describe the use of dorsal preservation for correcting the deviated nose. This is a very powerful use of this technique. In the technique, a bone strip is removed on the side opposite the deviation and a conventional bone cut on the opposite side. And what this does is allow the bones to be tilted back to the midline when done in combination with some subdorsal septal work. In the paper, the authors demonstrated very high levels of patient satisfaction. So in this technique, dorsal preservation can be used to remove a dorsal hump and straighten the nose.